welcome to the city of joy. The Victoria Memorial is just behind this hotel. So in the evening, it will be a nice walk if you go by the Victoria site. Now, I have 10 questions and the answers for them are not at all controversial. So and definitely the theme is safety. Well, if you have the white sheets on, I think all of you should be having a white sheet. So please write down your name in blocks, your emails, IDs and your phone number please. So take a minute to please write down. So I request the volunteers to give white sheets and the boards to those delegates who have not received yet. Just take five minutes. You don't have a time problem, sir. So, 10 questions. To make it more simple, I have had the first five to have correct markings as class 10. The next five to be with the negative marks. The penalty is very heavy. It's a minus five. But still play because, well, the essence is in participation, ladies and gentlemen. Now, so we have 10 questions only. So that's it. Well, I told you, the essence is participation, participation and participation to know how safe we are. Well, have everyone got papers, the pens and is everyone ready for the quiz? Well, are or is everyone in this hall ready to begin the quiz? Well, thank you. So now, best of luck, all the participants. So now with this, so let us try to begin with interactive quiz. The answer shall be a single word. Well, if you want to write a sentence, so please do so. There are no time limits. Enjoy the quiz, ladies and gentlemen. And with this, we begin with the first question now. Well, a very common safety device, please identify the safety device. That's it. Well, no tricks, nothing. Just identify the safety device. Okay. Now, can I move on with the next one? I think I can. Now, this one is a bit from the specialities. So that means we shall have something around this 56 year old gentleman who underwent a surgical procedure, radical prostatectomy, 15 days back. The gentleman was discharged while he was doing fine with the catheter in situ. Then he reported to the emergency with this strange problem. Do you see this strange thing that has happened, ladies and gentlemen? Just a word, a line, a sentence that said, okay. What has been this strange problem? That will remind you when you are doing a pelvic surgery, well, near the bladder or the prostate. Please be aware of these problems. These do happen and will happen if we do not take care or precautions. So please, what is this complication? That's it. Single word, single line or a sentence. Yeah. Can I move on with the next one? Yes, I think I can. Now, so this one is about again a procedure, okay. So gradually when you move down the line, we will have questions about minimal invasive vascular procedures like this one. This gentleman was receiving chemotherapy by an Hickman line, you know, a central line. The problem was that while everything was fine, the drugs were working fine except that this chap presented five months later with a strange peculiar problem around the neck. Do you see this peculiar thing around the neck? I think you can. Well, the gentleman had a CT scan done also. You have a CT of the whole body was done. And you see that thing sticking out of the neck. Do you see that thing? I think, well, this one and this one is this thing. Well, so that means the surgeon who did the Hickman line was called up. And he was asked, my God, what is the mistake that you have done? I told, well, 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 you see, I just forgot. That's it. And you see, well, your sins don't get buried so fast. 
they will reappear one day. That's it. Mistakes do happen, ladies and gentlemen. What is this mistake? So please, what is this mistake? Okay. Should I go on with the next one? Yeah. Uh, yes, thank you. Well, now. Now, this interesting logo from the American Society of Anesthesiologists have probably one word in the center which shows us that, well, there is only one thing to observe during a surgical proceeding, something called vigilance. And then we need devices which will be safe so that you can have the surgical procedure done in safety. Please identify this device which is a reliable, safe device for the anesthesiologist and definitely for you to use if you cannot intubate the patient. Well, this, ladies and gentlemen, and those who are searching for hints, is not a tricky Austin tube. <coughs> I think this is not a tricky Austin tube, please. Okay, so please don't write tricky Austin tubes. Okay, should I go on with the next one or should you ponder around this? Good. Now, I told you around that, please, as we have been discussing around with the WHO safety chart, different associations, surgeons in various specialities have always been very frightened about, well, which side should I operate on? Now, the American Society for Orthopedics have made it mandatory that you mark the site before you put the knife. Well, now everything comes at a price with gentlemen, like the unfortunate incident about the lady on the left hand side with the big glasses on. Now she was the mother of the very famous Bollywood actress, one who had diagnosed with a brain tumor on the right side of the brain and went to a very renowned the world leader in the neurosurgery in America. The problem was a neurosurgeon who saw her had also seen an Indian patient the day before and confused her CT scan and strangely enough the CT scan was arranged in a wrong fashion. The right was left and the left appeared to be right. So at the end of the day the surgeon removed the normal lobe of the brain instead of the tumor. Well, then the surgeon in chief was prosecuted by the DA. His license was suspended for around five years. And wonder of wonders, ladies and gentlemen, when he joined in a very small, nondescript hospital as a surgeon, that same day he was operating on his spine. He again made that same mistake. He operated on the wrong side. Well, the answer to you, or the questions to you are not that critical. Just identify this famous Bollywood actress. Well, I you see, I'm a fan of movies and Quiz without me and movies will not go around. So please identify this Bollywood actress who has been circled, you see. Okay, so please identify. So if you have seen her movies, well, definitely you can right now. Right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are enjoying the quiz and definitely the next round and your innocence is going to cost you minus five but still play because well Rabakshi has ensured me that there is a nice price at the end of the quiz and particularly at the end of the day ladies and gentlemen. The sixth question is about something <coughs> in the era of laparoscopy. Well minimally invasive things have really changed the way we have seen operations ladies and gentlemen. Isn't it so? Well it has been until and unless we have something called lap poly. Well just identify
Okay now, now this video is apart from the Sages educational video where you can go to the YouTube, you can see that about teaching lab calling. Now, well I usually give hints in the previous slide or in this slide. Well I am a very lenient as master you see, I usually go around giving hints. The only thing is that you have to search for the hint, that's it. Okay, right. Should I go on? Yes. Yes. Now, this is about a diagnosis. Now, this gentleman that you are going to see underwent a laparotomy for a bowel obstruction. The post op period was stormy on a ventilator and repeatedly, as, is, as happens in my hospital, the residents usually do the arterial blood gas monitoring, the AVGs, every day, the morning, evening, and the nights. Three weeks later, when he woke up from the ventilator, well, you see, he was diagnosed with a strange lump in the groin. Now, this video was provided to me by a colleague of mine, Professor Shubhaprutu Das. Okay. You see the lump in the groin? I think you can. Okay. Now, do you see this lump in the groin? Nice. Now, we also had a Doppler done about this lump. When you had the Doppler done about this lump, we had this strange finding. Now, now, do you see the lump and this Doppler finding? Well, I think by this classic Doppler finding and the clinical picture <coughs> and this video, you can or you will have diagnosed this lump by this time. Three weeks on a ventilator, AVG is probably three times a day. Well, you should always be very safe about a very simple procedure. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, I think you have this by this time. <coughs> the sad part of the story is we don't have many residents around. I am coming to the end of the quiz, ladies and gentlemen. The eighth question now. 67 year old gentleman under had a mid thigh amputation with a non healing sinus in the stump. Well, then he underwent a surgery and exploration of the wound. So you will be shown a radiology before surgery, something during surgery, and something after surgery. Well, and after the procedure was done, the surgeon told, Oh my god. So even after so many checks and counts, my God, see what happens. So what is the cause of the sinus? What is, ladies and gentlemen, the cause of the sinus? Okay. Now remember that once in a lifetime, we are probably going to have in this. The WHO safety checklist, the more rigorously we implement it, and then this is going to decrease, if not nullify, all of these problems. So please start using the WHO safety checklist. Now, the second last, and then this is about, well, you see, litigations, well, you see. Now, we can sometimes with the God and the second ourselves. This is about a man who was brought down from the doors of heaven or hell, whatever you like to say. Then very aggressive CPR, well you see, then he had a peculiar problem, peculiar problem, he underwent a cross-sectional CT, that's it. Now there are two complications, ladies and gentlemen, not one, two. So I will have 2.5 and a 2.5. If you have one thing right and a wrong, well, chalo, I will be giving you no negative marks on this. Just see this cross-sectional image. There are two complications, not one. So 2.5, you have one right. If you have one wrong, well, I will have to take no marks. Okay, I am a linear quiz master. What are the two complications? Vigorous CPR. Well, you save the life of the patient. That's it, doctor. But well, you see, litigations do happen. The patient is alive to drag you to the boat. That's it. 
Okay. Right, 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 right. Um, going to the last slide of the quiz, ladies and gentlemen. Should I move on? I think the last slide is about something from A and B. That's it. 34 year old cyclist in an unconscious state was brought. He was incubated and was put on a positive pressure ventilation. That's it. The moment you put him on a positive pressure ventilation, the surgeon forgot something. And then the blood pressure started falling, the oxygen sat started falling. Oh my god, he also went in for an x ray at this stage. My god, see where you see, don't shrug, mistakes do happen. What was the fatal error? This patient died before something definite could be done. In five minutes procedure, probably. What was the fatal error that was missed? So, with this, ladies and gentlemen, I will be now coming to the close of this brief awareness quiz. So, should you need some time more along with this? Okay, nice then. I hope I have your involvement. Okay. Thanks for the participation. Well, if you want to read something not so serious, not so academic stuff, but well, and is going to teach you about safety. Dr. Gawande's books are really a nice one. Start reading them. Well, now, whatever I have shown well, and will be shown the whole day, definitely all the credit goes to my team, particularly Mr. Bakshi. So, with this, ladies and gentlemen, be safe. Thank you for the participation in the quiz and best of all. Thank you.